Hands up. Then 3x plus 0. You start on the 0, 0, and then you go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. And then that's a line dotted. Shade to the right of it. Yep, that's typical. And then you do the second equation y is less than one half x plus three. And you start at the three on the y, yep. and then you go up one over two. Below it. Oh, it's a dotted line too, yeah. Yeah, you're going to say below it. And then the intersects. At the bottom right corner. Now, this is perfect, guys. Go get a price. Um, this is often applied in businesses um, because they're looking for, like, suppose you've got a business plan that is creating a certain amount of product, but then certain components of it cost this much or cost this much. And so then they have, like, a window of profit, essentially. Like, if we sell this and we sell this, then we should do well. Um, but if you just sell one or just sell the other, not necessarily. All right, one more. Here we go. Oh, you forgot your... All right, example three, last one. No problem, thank you. All right, negative 3x plus 4y is greater than 0. And 3x minus 4y is greater than or equal to 8. Mm. All right, so tell me, is this ready to graph? Mm. No, all right, let's start moving stuff over. I'm going to do this one first. What should I do first? Add 3x. Add 3x. we got to move now. So I've got 4y is greater than 3x. And then? Did I do something wrong? Y is greater than 3 fourths X, and then I'm going to write plus 0 to make it easy to graph. Okay, how about this one? Minus 3X from both sides. That's negative 4Y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 8. And then? Divide by negative 4, and if I divide by a negative, flip the sign, now it's less than. Negative divided by a negative is a positive 3 fourths. 8 divided by a negative 4 is a negative 2. All right, these are the two ones I'm graphing. <coughs> Anybody tell us something about these lines right away? They have the same slope, which means they are 
parallel. These are going to be parallel lines. All right, so one is going to start at zero. One's going to start at zero. And what was the slope again? Three fourths. Three fourths. So it was y is greater than three fourths up three over four, up three over four. Greater than is a dotted line. And which way should I point my arrows for greater than? Oh. Greater than is up and to the left for this one, like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shade that way. And the other one had a y-intercept of oh. negative 2, but it also went up 3 over 4, right, because it's the same slope. Was that one an equals 2? That one's got a solid line. And that one's less than, right? So that one's going this way. So where do they overlap? They don't. This is a no solution problem where there are two things that will never overlap. Do you see? Because they're going opposite ways. Is it possible to have parallel lines that have a solution? Yes. 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 If they're going towards each other, then it would be that strip in between. Okay? All right. Anybody want me to write down the homework? You're going to have a work day tomorrow. Anybody going to get it done early? No. Okay.